Uh, let's see, outro for the YouTubes? Nah. Uh, that dungeon ran a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to end at like 40 minutes, but the answer is no. So it'll be after the forest one, and who knows? I don't know. I'm not a full professional. The Illager raids have roasted this once lush land to ruin. Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are their only hope. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly pull up this email. I'll probably talk about this somewhere else, but I have uh, filters in my inbox that specifically tell me if I get like a uh, a Steam key or something like that, and so I have key, code, and like a couple other things filtered all into one filter, so they get highlighted. And so this one got highlighted, which is why I noticed it. But it's, oh, got it, here comes the code. Hey friend, thank you for reading. How are you doing? This is Zoe, a promotion representative. Maybe you know me or not, but I know you a little from your channel or social media. You are a popular person, but you are also a normal family member, like husband slash wife, father slash mom, son slash daughter. So you may also need to go shopping online in your spare time for your family, friends, and yourself. It is a plan that I will show you some products from Amazon with discount deals codes via emails or Facebook page from time to time so you can save so much time to do your work or unit your family. I, I ask Shell later if I've managed to unit her. I hope not. That feels like a, turning Chungus into a verb, which is terrifying. If you or your friends order it, you can choose to tell me or not. Then, I can take note of your name as the VIP member and show you more priority to get some products, discount, or free. If you like, if you don't like email, you can also follow my page. Facebook page. This is a gradually expanding page. Hope you don't mind. Okay, here is the first deal news. 63% off 180, a 1,800 watt sensor touch multifunction induction burner. And then just like a bunch of other stuff. And it's just like, it's like, what? I, I get it. Like, you're trying to, uh, they're, they're just trying to, like, lowest common denominator find things. Ow. Okay. Get him creeper bait. Like, you're just, they're just trying to grab as much, like, free advertising as they can. Uh, for, like, gullible suckers that'll, ow. Uh, that'll buy their products. And... Or buy their products or buy into their, like, weird scheme. Holy crap. This is actually... It's got, uh, kind of aggressive. Uh, let's see. Shell is angry. Why is Shell angry? But yeah, so... I, I think this is kind of like a common money-making scheme that a lot of people uh, have been getting into as like a easy quick cash you know find a couple of suckers that'll buy into this thing you get a cut uh maybe you sell a product maybe you're upselling it some kind of product i have no idea how it even works but the idea of just like reaching out bold faced to a gaming channel and then trying to get them to sell advertise and sell your thermal induction burner is just hilarious to me. Like, if it was a Logitech gaming keyboard, okay, it would kind of make sense. I could, I could work with that. I could, I could process that. But this whole thing was just this like weird, just email. I absolutely never heard of this person before. I looked at their Facebook page out of sheer curiosity, and the answer was they had never. Put a thing on the Facebook page. It existed. But that's... That's... That's the participation prize that you probably don't want to just go with. I, I don't know. It's like... It, things exist. Cool. Did you do anything with it? It's like saying my grandmother has a YouTube channel. Because, yeah. She doesn't. But, like... 
God, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just, I'm still mildly flustered. That is a cool looking something or other. Is that a boat? That's a boat. I, I guess it reminds me of the people, uh, every once in a while I get comments, uh, from YouTube channels that's like, want to be YouTube friends, want to collab together, and I look at their channel and they just have like, they've never put out a video or they've put out one video and it's like, they've didn't put a custom thumbnail on it, and it's like, the pre-generated thumbnail from YouTube prominently features their double chin because they took a, like, whatever the video was, was just them doing like a vlog and talking into their, their camera phone. Uh, for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Those things explode. Okay. Because I've definitely gotten a couple of videos... Uh, wow. These guys just don't want me to get close. That's actually really cool. I would love to fight these guys in, uh... In Minecraft. But, you know, just the idea of, like reaching out to somebody that's fairly well established in a field with like zero credentials credentials of your own I, it's like i i guess i applaud the the bravado the bravissimo i don't know that's probably not even the right word it just sounds right i don't know uh the guts maybe the self assurance that i do not have uh And to not even like <laughs> proofread it. I mean, I'm I'm sure uh, it sounded perfectly fine to them, but it was just this like really odd circumstance. I don't know why I'm hung up on it. I just I was feeling so good about myself today, and then I read that email, and I was just so confused afterwards. And I, I it's like it's not too far off of like uh. But it, what are the scam things where they where they want your bank account number so they'll wire you X amount of money because you're secretly related to some royal person out of who even knows where? Or yeah, yeah, if you owe the IRS. I don't, I haven't gotten any of these scam e emails ever. Yeah, but it's, it's about the same level for me and I'm just, I don't know, I was thrown off. I was like, well... I thought I was professional, but the answer is no, I'm not professional. I'm just a resource. Yeah, those phishing emails and whatnot. Eh. Okay. I, I don't know if I'm going to get my head back in the game, but I, that, that's just where my head's been today, because I've just been like, what? Uh, Nigerian print scam. I try not to say the country generally. Even though that, I believe, is the usual one. I just... I I would hate to... Well, I mean, I am. I'm American. We have the stereotype, stereotype for... Uh, poor decisions being wildly overweight. And, uh... Well, making ourselves look like fools in front of the rest of the world. Second only to maybe Australians, but that's... That might be too contentious. I just remember when we were in Croatia, uh, you could spot the Australians whenever they would, uh, whenever they would get off, uh, the cruise ships or whatever. Because they were usually the ones that were climbing on stuff, and, uh, doing these slightly more dangerous things than anybody else seemed to be willing to do. Uh. So specifically... There was a... Oh, shoot. I... For those of you, I guess, that don't know where I'm talking about, if any of you have seen Game of Thrones, I spent three months living in the city that King's Landing was filmed in. Uh, and so, watching Game of Thrones and seeing, like, King's Landing was actually really amusing because I just, like, had been there. They had finished filming by the time we, we had, uh... We had specifically personally gone, but it was still just kind of this, like, neat... Not Easter egg, necessarily, but just being like, hey, I've been there. Oh, shit, I'm dying. I should probably stay the hell away from these guys for a little while. How many arrows do I have? I'm actually running out of arrows. That's a weird feeling. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, I just remember at one point we were doing some kind of class trip and we saw two dudes like walking along the edges of the parapets and somebody down below was yelling at them because that very much is like, no go, do not do that. And uh, <laughs> we look up and whoever we were with is like, oh yeah, those are probably Australians. And then we saw them later when they come down and they had the thickish, the thickest, oh shoot. What is the, it wasn't Outback, it was a different, different term for whatever their accent was, but it was a, it was a thick, very clearly Australian accent. It was really funny. I mean, twang, yeah, kind of, but, ooh, is that a purple longbow? No, it's not, damn. Extra health, extra damage reduction, extra melee. Uh, oh, but it doesn't give me the extra arrows, and I like my extra arrows. What are the enchantments here? Wild Rage. Hmm. Oh. That's actually pretty good. Twenty percent chance to make them just attack their allies. That's kind of neat. Yeah, it might have been Aussie accent was the thing I was looking for, but probably not. I don't know. I, look, I'm bad at even labeling American accents, let alone foreign ones. I'm terrible. What else was there? I don't know. There was stuff. I remember very specifically there was a a local superstition. I don't remember exactly how how it boiled down, but it was like a rock that was jutting out of a wall and it was like men had to stand on it for like X number of seconds to be acknowledged or like, I don't know, it was just your kind of standard like male pride kind of dumb action that you would do uh, to prove, your, prove you have, I don't know, bigger balls than the next guy or who knows what, I, I don't know. But it was, it was this old stone that would just stick out of the, uh, can I go up here? There's clearly an area up there. Just getting up there is not easy. A dog could do it. Oh, here we go. But the thing is, this stone had been there for centuries. And so at this point, it was super freaking smooth. And so standing on it, you just, uh... Wow. It's called creeper bait, arrow bait. Uh, but so people would stand on it and then inevitably slip off because the thing had gone, well, it had eroded over time from thousands of people standing on it. And it was really funny to sit there, people watching and drawing. I am wildly off topic. I hope you don't mind. Because uh, that was my favorite thing to do while I was on my study abroad is just people watch and draw the environment, draw whatever the hell I wanted. Uh, let's see. But so I remember one day. I don't know if they were German or they were Amer American. Because there were two different uh, people that were watching, and like the guy looked identical. Like the two dudes looked identical. I know one was an American group and one was a German group. Uh, or German ish. Again, bad with the accents. Uh, but. Specifically, uh, one of these guys massively overweight, comparatively. Like, good thing he was on this vacation, because it looked like he was getting a lot of walking in. Um, but he was trying to stand on this extremely, like, it wasn't even, it was barely even a stone anymore. People have been standing on, standing on it so much for over the years. And, uh, he's standing on it, and he can't even, like, stand up properly straight, because... I think he had just too much of a gut, and he couldn't get on it, like, backwards and, like, put his heel on the thing. So it was him and two of his friends trying to, like, push him against the wall so he could stand there for the requisite X number of seconds. And it was really fun to watch because they were having a blast trying to get this very heavy man onto a, a very, uh, very unstable stone. Uh, 
this has no bearing on anything. It's just suddenly stuck in my head in like weird antics from various people while I was uh, studying abroad. Hello. Is it fighting time? Honestly, I'm not actually well equipped enough for this. Was that it? Oh, ow. Oh, shoot. Okay. Nice part is... There we go. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little while. I can just hang out in the back. <laughs> People just sending me freaking phishing scams via highlighted message now. <laughs> Why not? Sure. Alright, get him creeper bait. Oh, well, there we go. This stuff kind of hurts. There are no treasure chests? Apparently not. Ah. Now, if only I could get... Another multi-shot. Oh, the thing with the five arrows especially. I wonder if that would... How that would even work. Either well or pair... Or... Poorly. Excuse me. There we go. Right the bait. No. Blaze Rod would make an interesting weapon in this game. I can see that. I do hope they go full magic. I would love to sling fireballs at things. I mean, I already am. But I want fireball fireballs. Oh, hey, creepers. Creeper bait. I found your true calling once again, creeper bait. Nope, no. Nope. Excuse me, sir. I think that's just really basic armor. Damn. I'm really hoping for some more, like, actually good things. We have a full-on dungeon. Excuse me, a dungeon. Anything back up here? No, it looks pretty boring to me. No, creeper bait! I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Look at how the freaking loot pig just comes to stand up right next to me. All right, so we got some sickles. Ooh. All right, well, these are considerably better than what I got. There's also a wind horn. Pushes enemies away from you, slows them briefly. Well, we might as well try this, as this thing is considerably worse. So what enchantment's going to get off of this? Sets mobs on fire for three seconds, dealing damage over time. Leeching max health. Is that when I kill them? Defeating them. Hmm. Go for the reduce cooldown, and we'll set things on fire. Well, these are pretty good. I did say I wanted some more weapon types. Oh, boy. Okay. Creeper bait. I'll defeat you through the powers of... Oh, crap. Just blocked the hit. Mean. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for him to get close, or for Creeper Bait to get back. There we go. Push him back. Ow. Okay, just 
keep my distance. Help with arrows. Whoop. Ripper Pit, I need help. Fight him. Fight the bad man. Ah, died. Should have waited. Well, that's okay. It turns out I'm under leveled for this area. Who'd have thought? Well, let's go into the dungeon. Hello. Yeah, the leech life actually did 4% of my damage in healing. That could make it worth... Maybe. Okay. Time for... That's spooky. I guess that's less spooky. I just see a giant creeper sarcophagus and I think... Yeah, that's probably... That's probably bad news. Right? Ow. Creeper bait, you are not doing your job. That is a bad portable meat wall. Hi! Oh, shit! Oh. Hi. Okay. Wizards? No. There we go. We're doing ish. Hopefully I don't lose anything for, like, actually losing here. Alright, we're good. That's close enough. Rather glad these casters were not involved in that last fight. Though I guess I could have used that T TNT. I honestly still do not know how those work. Ooh, ooh, that's some good shit. Where the hell did I throw that? All right, I just flung that into the future. Alright, let's take a look. So, uh, goodbye sickles, hello hawk brand. Increases crit chance. Legendary sword of proven warriors. Alright, salvage this. Okay, so deal increased damage against already wounded enemies. Ooh. Zero to fifty bonus damage. Or more money. Let's go for committed. That sounds useful. Okay. There we go. Long live com comrade bot. It took me a bit to understand what the hell you were talking about there. Look. As long as as long as I live, I will always be an ally of the proletariat. That said, 
don't have to use the sickle always. Excuse me, come back here. I think I'll switch the fishing rod out. I was kind of hoping we get some more skills along the way here, but it's not the end of the world. Holy crap, it's the wizard convention. Never mind, they're all dead. Suck it, wizards. What did you expect? Survival? Hiding in the corner over there? Well, definitely digging this weapon. Good luck, Creeper Bait. Goodbye, Creeper Bait. Whee! If, if, if you want to uh, represent the Communist Revolution, the Socialist Rebellion, let's go with Socialist Rebellion. That sounds better. Maybe? If you wish to re represent, uh, so so socialis uh, socialistic progress? Hmm. I'm not very good at this whole, like, oh gosh, there's a lot of enemies around here. I'm getting filled with arrows. Woo, boy. Those archers in the back are spooky. And they're all dead. Now that, now that I'm actually, like, getting some stuff done, we're good. Yeah, I, I would never be a good revo revolutionary leader. Unfortunately. Every once in a while I think to myself, like, maybe I should, like, look into... I don't know. I, I was talking about this earlier, the idea of doing YouTube and Twitch for, like, the rest of my life as my job. Because, you know, most people tend to kind of fall into something. Or they tend to bounce around for the rest of their lives, and I don't really want to do that, because that's that's what my extended family kind of did, and it didn't look particularly healthy. Uh, so I like I would prefer to have some level of uh, consistency in my life. And so yeah, unless something horrible happens here, I might actually just keep doing this, which is probably for the best. I. Uh, but every once in a while, I, like, think to myself, like, what would other jobs be that I could do? And so, like, running for office stuck in my head once. And I'm like, I wonder how hard it would be to, like, be a low-tier government official. Yeah, she'll just said, oh, gosh. And it's like, I don't know. I just know, like, be the change you want to... Uh, enact on the world or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, too much paperwork. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. I'd be good at delegating and, like, figuring out, oh, like, okay, is this person good at this thing? Like, cool, I could probably do that. Would I be very good at actually doing that paperwork? Hell no. I'd rather do this. Wonder about the president. Hell no. I don't want to be president, man. That'd be gravage. <laughs> If I ended up with that level of leadership position, you better bet I would barely do anything. I'd just delegate. And everybody would be like, I bet the vice president is actually the one calling the shots. And they would be right. I would just be there to look pretty. Oops, stay away from the explosives. I'll vote for Wando. He doesn't have a choice in the matter. That's terrifying. These freaking splinter arrows are so good. Oh no, not another one of these. Not another one of these guys. Okay. Luckily, I do a shit ton of damage now, so it's considerably less less dangerous. So we got it? 
That'll good. Just one more of those guys, and I guess we're good. Oh. This is a really well-made game. It's by and far one of the simplest Diablo likes I've ever played. But there's something absolutely well handled about how they made this. I like it. Let's see, did you luck out in the beta and get a key? Uh, sort of. I had a friend you actually give me a key. The villagers of the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day. Anyway, uh How's it going, Jazz? Uh, you guys, when you guys finally get access to this, wow, uh, I didn't even kill, like, half the monster. What? Where would the other monsters be? I have no idea. Well, I got a better wind horn at the very least. Wandering trader, what do you have? Random artifact, gimme. Face, meat, desk, gimme more. Got 121% accuracy. But yeah, this absolutely seems like something that belongs uh, on your channel. This is really fun. So I was saying it looks better than normal Minecraft, which, yeah, I'll agree on that one. Okay, so we got a better wind horn, five blocks pushed, ten second cooldown. Tumble through the air, stunning and pushing enemies back as you go. Flaming quiver gives you burning arrows. Yes! Boots of swiftness, short boost of movement speed. Unfortunately, these are all kind of butts. I was hoping for a little bit more more than this. Unfortunately, the wandering traders grubbins are kind of bad. I was hoping to get a new firework or a new uh, new firework or a new bone for my dog. No dice. Hopefully you can enchant these eventually, because that would be nice. Alright, let's get one more. Speaking of bones, 29 summon damage. It's a little better. Not as much as I was expecting, but still. 